I see what the U.S. is doing there. They're doing the same thing here. Angela, you're in Venezuela, not, not that far away, relatively speaking. Uh, what, what, is, what do you see going on in Nicaragua and also Venezuela? And how does this relate to uh, China and other countries around the world the U.S. is tormenting? Well, uh, the, the system is, is very simple. Uh, you have those movements that are for sovereignty. They want to protect their sovereignty. So by definition, they are anti-imperialism. And they are mostly on the left. So what the U.S. is doing is actually financing movements on the left. They are the fake left. They're actually doing the work for the imperial powers. There are many examples, you know, in, in history where you had those movements. Uh, I'm just uh, one that comes to my mind is uh, May 68 in France. They were all Maoists. They, they called themselves Maoist Trotskyists. And actually the same generation uh, that are, you know, now you see them extremely pro-U.S. I'm talking about, you know, uh, EU MPs like... Uh, um, like Convendit, you know, Glucksmann. Glucksmann, his father was a trust, trustist. He, he, was, he, was, he was behind the, the revolution, May 68 revolution. And the idea behind this was to fight the goal because the goal was the, the last president, patriotic president in France. They wanted to protect French sovereignty. So, and he was going against the US, especially when it came to, to, to the dollar. He wanted gold against the dollar. And this was an attack on, on the dollar back then. So you see there are many movements like this that we need to be extremely careful. They call themselves leftists. They're not. You need to look at the position when it comes to anti-imperialism. Anti That's the most important. You know, if, if, if they are not consistent, you know, it's first this. And then left or right, we, you and I, we don't, we don't care much. I mean, uh, I mean, just uh, if you can confirm that. I mean, in terms of ideology, yeah. all fight is against Cold War, it's against imperialism. After, you know, we are for self-determination. Every nation can decide for their own system. And if they are more conservative or more progressive, it doesn't matter. But we don't want other countries or the U.S. to NED to subvert, to, to meddle into, into the country. Because if there's, no, if there's no sovereignty, there's no democracy. So we are for democracy. Yes. Well, you know, that's the thing. Democracy is, is like, like you always say, it's about sovereignty. And if you don't have sovereignty, there's no democracy. If things are being determined in Washington, then it can't possibly be a process of self-determination in the targeted country. So Ben Norton was talking about uh, they're having elections there in Nicaragua. And uh, I believe it was the New York Times, as always, uh, putting out absolute lies. And it's hard to describe what this feels like when you're in a country and you're watching things with your own eyes and you see the Western media just blatantly lying about what's going on here. So this is Ben Norton trying to uh, get the truth out. And he's talking about how the Western media is demonizing the, the government and demonizing the elections. That maybe the West doesn't feel confident that uh, their opposition, that they're backing in Nicaragua will come to power. So they want to undermine the credibility of the elections overall. This is what they have done in Thailand, as a matter of fact. Uh, so there's that. Angela, you're in Venezuela. They're doing the same thing there. There's an opposition that the U.S. wants to get into power that isn't in power right now. And so they're, they're playing the same game in Venezuela. So it's basically one playbook. And they, they're doing it in Nicaragua and Venezuela there in Latin America. They're doing it all over Asia, all along China's periphery, which is what we're going to